Hello there. My name is Minister Barton Aaron Porter, and today we're going to go into our Father's Word for another exciting Bible study. Now, I'm going to be using the good old King James Version of the Holy Bible, as I always do. So I encourage you to get your Bibles out and to study along with me. Let's approach our Heavenly Father's throne with a word of prayer before we get into this video. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we come with bowed heads and humble hearts, confessing our many sins, Lord, asking that you forgive us, wash us in the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, the Savior of the world. We put all our hope and trust in that precious blood he shed for us at Calvary, Lord. And we ask right now, Almighty God, that you fill us with your precious Holy Spirit, as we go into your word, the Holy Bible, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we thank you, Almighty God, for hearing our prayer. Amen. In our last Bible study, we learned in the fourth chapter of this great book of Revelation how John alone was taken up to heaven to be shown things that must shortly come to pass. So with that, we're going to dive right into the fifth chapter of this great book of Revelation with the very first verse. Revelation chapter 5, verse 1. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside, sealed with seven seals. So John says he saw in the hand of Almighty God, the Father, Jehovah God, a scroll. Because when we look this word book up in the strong, exhausted concordance of the Holy Bible, we see it's the Greek word 975, and it actually comes from a Greek word meaning a roll or a scroll. So it wasn't a book like we have books today. It was actually a scroll, and it had seven seals on it. Verse 2. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the scroll and to loose the seals thereon, or to loose the seals on it. And so this angel stood up in heaven and he pronounced with a very loud voice, who here is worthy to take the scroll from the hand of almighty Jehovah and to break open those seals. Verse 3. And no man in heaven, pay attention to this, no man in heaven, nor in earth, should be on earth, neither under the earth. You see the three places a man could be? In heaven, on earth, or under the earth. It was able to open the book or the scroll, neither to look thereon. So there was nobody worthy of such a great honor to take the scroll and start breaking open the seals. Verse 4, And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the scroll, neither to look thereon, John says. So this is a reminder that we are all sinners in need of a Savior. There was only one who was found that was worthy, and that's none other than our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, which we're going to read about in a minute. But we must always be mindful of our need for the Savior because we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. And that's why the apostle Paul wrote in Romans 3, 23, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. This is why the wise King Solomon wrote in Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 20, for there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not. And this is why John wrote in 1 John chapter 1, verse 8 through 10. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us, John says. He says in verse 9, if we confess our sin, he, that is God Almighty, is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You see that? Verse 10. If we say 
that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and the truth is not in us. So there is nobody worthy except Jesus Christ. He is our only hope for salvation because he is the only one who never sinned. Revelation chapter 5 verse 5, And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David has prevailed to open the scroll, to open the book. They call it book, but it's actually a scroll. And to loose the seven seals thereof. Verse 6. And I beheld, and lo, which means behold, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. So he saw this lamb that looked like he had been killed with seven horns and seven eyes. Then the Bible tells us exactly what those were symbols of. They're the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. And we know that the lamb is a symbol of our Lord and Savior. That's why in John chapter 1, verse 29, John the baptizer, when he saw Christ walking, he said, Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. So that's who John saw here in Revelation chapter 5. This lamb is a symbol of Christ, having died for us and paid off our sin debt. Anyway, verse 7, And he, who, the lamb that had been slain, having the seven horns and the seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God, sent forth into all the earth, and he came and took the scroll out of the right hand of him, who, the Father Jehovah, that sat upon the throne, because only he could. He was worthy. Verse 8, And when he had taken the scroll, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vows, which are bowls, full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. Verse 9, And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the scroll, and to open the seals thereof, for thou was slain, and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred, and tongue, and people, and nation. Verse 10. And hast made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. So they praise Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, for what he had accomplish on our behalf only by means of trusting in the blood that Jesus shed is there any hope for us and that's why Jesus himself would say for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life Jesus said, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Jesus said, he that believeth is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son of God. And so you and I need to understand that Jesus Christ is, is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes unto the Father except through him. And so they understood this fact and they were, were praising God, the Son, for what he had done and what he had made possible for them. So we need to understand what a great rescue God has done on our behalf through his Son. Okay? Revelation chapter 5, verse 11. And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne, and the beasts, and the elders. The number of them was ten thousands times ten thousand, and thousands of thousands. Twelve. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, and riches, and wisdom, and strength, and honor, and glory, and blessing. So even the angels joined in praising Almighty God, Jesus, 
the Savior of the world. Verse 13. And every creature which is in heaven, look at this, and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them heard I saying blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that is almighty God the Father Jehovah that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb Jesus Christ forever and ever. You see that? Verse 14. And the four beasts say amen and the uh, four and twenty elders fell down and worship him that liveth forever and ever. So here is John being taken to heaven and seeing Christ having accomplished his task, coming to the Father and taking that scroll because only he was worthy and all of heaven erupted in praise. So it's very important that you and I understand that Jesus Christ is the Savior of the entire world. If this particular Bible study has been a blessing to you and you want to bless me with a love gift of any amount, this is how you can do that. I encourage you to go to paypal.com and set up a free PayPal account. And then you can also download the PayPal app. It's free. And if you choose to do it that way, then you would go use this code to send me your love gift. PayPal.me slash Barton Porter. You can also download the free cash app, which is the one I prefer. And if you choose to bless me using cash app, my uh, code is cash.app slash dollar sign Barton1014. And then there are people who prefer Zelly. For Zelly, all you need is my name, Barton Porter, and my phone number, which is 630-441-4563. And then I have videos that I put on Patreon. Some people prefer to give their money through Patreon. So if you're going to do it that way, you would go to patreon.com slash Barton underscore Porter. Now, here are non-financial ways you can be a blessing to yours truly in this ministry. I need your prayer, saints. Pray for Minister Porter and pray for this ministry. We all need prayer. And share the Bible study videos. If you're being blessed or encouraged or taught through this ministry, share these Bible study videos with as many people as possible. And if you have any Bible questions or prayer requests, you can call me at 630-441-4563. I live in Illinois, so I'm in the central time zone. Be reasonable about the times you call. Just don't call me late at night. <laughs> and if you don't have a phone, you can email me your Bible questions or prayer requests or whatever you want to send me. You know, if you just want to share a testimony or share some experience, send it to BartonAaronPorter at gmail.com. Now, these last few things are of the utmost importance, saints. I need your support. I need you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're being blessed through this ministry, take the time to hit the subscribe button. It does not cost you a penny. And underneath the video also, after you hit the subscription button, there's a little bell icon. Click on that bell icon. That bell is the notification icon. I release Bible study videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Every time a video is released, you will get a notification. It will let you know a new video is available. And underneath the video, there's two thumbs, one up, one down. If you like my video, if you like the content, please take the time to hit that thumbs up button. Very important. These are non-financial ways you can help this ministry. And I need your support, saints. So please do that. And last but not least, it just came to my mind. If you really were blessed 
by a Bible study video, take the time to put something in the comment section. It encourages me to know that my preaching and teaching isn't in vain, and God can use that to encourage somebody else to actually watch the video and see what the Bible has to say about a particular thing. So take the time to put something in the comment section. Now, in closing, these shirts that you see me wear all the time are my own designs. I have an online t-shirt store. And I just recently purchased the domain name. It's godware.store. So please go to godware.store. Check out the t-shirts, the hoodies, the women tees, the cups. If you see something you like, buy it because you're getting something that you can use to share the gospel of Jesus Christ everywhere you go. And you're also blessing this ministry as well. So, until next time, this is Minister Barton Aaron Porter saying, may the good Lord continue to bless you and keep you all the days of your life. God bless you and goodbye.